Um, so you fast forward a couple of years, we're like 15 now, we started, we started to play in the pubs, 15 years old. There was a band on the island called The Mechanics. They were, you know, a lot older than us. They were in their 20s, they were a proper band. Um, in fact, they're still going because I went to see them about a year ago and they're still playing and uh, they're still brilliant. And uh, they used to do this thing where they'd set up all their, all their equipment in a pub on a Sunday lunchtime and do like an open mic afternoon. So anyone could get up, you could get up and play with the mechanics or you could get up and do your own thing. And, and so, so we did it. So that was my first taste of playing with proper, you know, real musicians, people who did this, you know, full time, you know. And uh, that, was, that was something. And then we'd get up and we'd, we'd play our little thing and it was brilliant. We looked, you know, we were having a fantastic time. And then sort of towards the end of our time at school, there was this big band on the Isle of Wight. They were probably the biggest band on the island. Last Straw, their name was. And they were a lot older than us. They were kind of in their late 20s. And they were, you know, proper, proper band. They had a road crew. They had a tour bus. They had a, they had a big PA system. They had lighting. They used pyros, they put on big shows. They very rarely played on the island. They would mainly go off on tour and play, you know, on the mainland or on the continent or wherever they would play. But occasionally they'd do a home gig on the island and it was a big show usually. Anyway, they kind of got to know of us through playing in the, these little silly gigs in the pubs and we get a, a call one day saying, would you like to come and support Last Straw. We're doing a big show on the theatre at the end of the Shanklin Pier and we're, we're looking for some support bands. Would you like to come and, and open up for us and do like half an hour set? And we thought, wow, we, oh my God, we're getting to play A on a big stage um, and open up for Last Straw. So we carted all our gear to the end of the pier. Um, pier's not there now, it all blew down in in the big storm in the 80s but at the end of the pier there was a massive you know old sort of theatre that had a circle and seats and it was where they used to hold all the you know the summer season spectaculars but last straw had it for one night and uh, we're getting we get in there and this place fills up with bikers and hell's angels and and weird looking people and we thought wow this is amazing and, and we got up we shit ourselves but we got up we did our half hour set we come off you know they respectfully applauded you know these all these bikers and then there was another band that came on after us they were a bit older than us and they were good and then we sat back and then last straw came on <laughs> We thought, fuck, you know, this is the music business. This is what it's all about. And that was it from then on. That was it. That's all, you know, that was, my mind was made up. I wanted to be a drummer and I wanted to do this. So we went back, came to the end of the school year. We're all about to leave school. Uh, and Danger Man, Dave, the guy I'd started playing with all those years ago, uh, got expelled. Um, he got... He got expelled for indecent exposure. He, he mooned at a police officer <laughs> out the back of the school coach anyway. All went horribly wrong. He got expelled. So we did our final gig at the summer school summer fete with the remaining members of the band. And that was it. Um, school was over. Being a boarding school, you know, I was the only, it was only me and another guy, Tim, who lived on the Isle of Wight. Uh, end of the summer, everyone went their separate ways back to wherever they lived in the world. And that was the end of that. 
So I suppose you forward on a year and um, about 17 years old then, not really doing much in the way of playing. And uh, Tim phones me up and he said, yeah, guess what, last straw split up. I said, what do you mean last straw split up? They're the biggest band on the island. How can they split up? He said, yeah, Steve phoned me up. Steve was one of the guitarists in last straw. He said, uh, you know, the band's kind of gone a bit like that. We're looking for a drummer. We're looking for a bass player and we're looking for a keyboard player. And would you like to come and try out for the band. So, yes. <laughs> so, oh, hello. Um, so we did. And we ended up in this barn in a farm rehearsing all their songs. They weren't a covers band, they did all their own material. So that was a big learning curve because it was the first time they said, no, you don't play it like that, it has to be played like this. And I had to listen to all their old tapes and a few of their records that they'd had released and learn what the previous drummer had done and, and that's how I had to play it. So that was interesting. So then, next thing we know, I'm, I mean, I'm 17 years old, I'm in Last Straw. They said, right, we're going to do our first show. So that was a pavilion in Ride. Again, a big kind of theatre. Big stage, light rig, road crew, the tour buses outside, proper tour bus, you know, that they, bright yellow it was. It had bunk beds on the back, it had a bar in it, it had a lounge area, you know. That was it. I was a rock star, I couldn't believe it, you know. This place filled up, again, with all the bikers, the Hells Angels, all the weirdos, all the, you know, all the hardened rock fans get out on the stage you know we had pyros you know thunder flashes I mean it was a proper show and I was just I just couldn't believe what had happened to me I thought I thought I was in the Rolling Stones that was it that was it a year ago I was a kid in a school band playing school discos and and then all of a sudden here I am on this big stage playing with this incredible band and part of it so you know that was great um so we're into the you know mid you know not mid early 80s then you know 